Good morning. Today we'll have a look at how you can very easily and quickly create this wind effect in a Blender for your grass or foliage. You can of course export these and use them as animations in programs such as Unreal or Maya. So here we are in Blender. So here we have a large clump of grass, we have a smaller chunk and then like a bush or a tree. And we'll apply this effect to all of them. So let's start with the small one first to show you how it's working. So select your asset or geometry that you wish to displace. Then go over to the modifiers and then under add modifier, add and a displace modifier. Right off the bat you can see that the strength is way too high, so lower it to something like 0.05. This is how much the uh, geometry will be affected by the wind. Then also change the direction to the X axis. Select the uh, geometry once again and go over to weight paint. Here we will, with the gradient tool, draw how much influence the wind has over the geometry. Make sure it's set to linear and then draw a linear gradient over the geometry. Like this. Then head back over to object mode once again. And now you can see that it has created a vertex group. So rename the group to something like wind. And then select the vertex group here, wind. The next step is to create a texture for the displacement. So let's rename the texture from texture to wind underscore grass. And go down to the texture settings and change it from image to a clouds texture. This is a noise. Uh, you can play around with the settings here, but change the color from grayscale to color. This will affect the displacement in 3D space. And change the coordinates to objects. Now you're probably thinking, what object? And we will create this object now. So create an empty, just a plain axis works. And we want this empty to continuously move throughout the sequence no matter what uh, length it is. And we'll do this with an expression. So head over to the uh, location on the X and type in hashtag frame. This will change the uh, location on each frame and then divide it by the speed that you want. I found that a speed of 80 divided by 80 works very good. Uh, but this uh, value you can change to whatever you want as it will affect the speed movement so if you want like a faster wind you have to change it to something like divided by 10 or something and then let's rename it to wind and under the modifiers change the object to wind so let's have a look how it looks as of now so when you play you can see that the bottom is moving and not the top. So this is inverted. We want to uh, invert the vertex group. So we press the small invert button over here. And now you can see that the grass is blowing or breezing in the wind. How lovely. And as I mentioned before, if you divide it by something else like frame divided by 30 instead, you can see that the wind is now blowing much faster than it was before. And if you change the strength on the modifier itself, it will affect how much the wind is uh, moving the geometry around. So let's change it back to 80 for this one. So next up is the clump of grass. And as we've already set basically everything up, this will go a lot faster. So change it to weight paint, draw a gradient once again, something like this. And 
then shift select the uh, previous uh, mesh go to objects link transfer data copy modifiers now the uh, vertex group name will be wrong so we have to go into the uh, objects data properties and change it to wind and now when we play it back you will see that it has successfully copied the uh, modifier and it will now also have a breathing wind effect uh, both controlled by the empty uh, called wind and so for the third example i have this tree or large bush we'll do a slightly different approach to this one so let's change it to radial and then a and then a weight of 0 0.7 let's draw a radial uh, gradient instead and then change the weight with a linear and just draw the bottom here something like this perfect and let's rename the vertex group once again to wind and then shift select link transfer data copy modifiers now all three of our foliage has the wind effect and it's all blowing uh, in the same speed and you can change the speed with the empty so let's quickly create a small scene here with the bag of pie add-on i will just select my grass and then scatter it And let's do the same with the uh, small grass to get some variation in the scene. J to scatter. Let me know if you want a uh, tutorial on this add-on. Let's change the density and then finally let's select the uh, tree or bush. I don't really know what it is but uh, yeah. and let's scatter it something like this so there we have it now you have some uh, wind uh, blowing or breezing your uh, foliage or grass it's not uh, a simulation so it's not super accurate but at least it's easy to art direct so i hope you learned something today uh, thank you so much for watching my tutorials uh, it's so much fun to read all the comments that you post um, and i'll see you in the next one bye